Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so I had to actually retype this problem from the regions because the font will not fit nicely in the screen. So the font was a little bit different, that's why. Okay, so let's, let's go through this. The directrix of the parabola. So we have a directrix and a parabola. Okay, it's the equation y equals negative 6. All right, so what am I going to do? I'm going to just set up a really rough sketch of a graph. Here's my graph. And we have our directrix at y equals negative 6. So it's a horizontal line down here at y equals negative 6. And the general equation of a parabola, let's see, here we have the, t the x binomial wheel being squared. It's essentially based on uh, when the vertex is at 0, let's say. We have 4py equals x squared. But this is when the vertex is at 0, 0. In general, though, the vertex is at hk. And if the vertex is at hk, we translate this parent function here. This is like my parent function. We translate it over h and up k. And the way we do that is by subtracting h and subtracting k from our inputs. If you think back to function transformations, when you subtract from your input, uh, you move it, in, in the case of y, up k units and in the case of x, over h units. It's a really nice property of all functions. Subtract from the input, and you add that value. So that tells me that here, this is the, the form that we have, um, our vertex is at h and k, or 4 and negative 3, because it's y minus, right, y minus k equals y plus 3 in this case, so negative k equals uh, plus 3, and if you solve for k, you get negative 3. So that just means the vertex is at 4, negative 3. I'll put a v there. And 4p. Okay, so first of all, let's plot that. 4, negative 3. Um, okay, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. And then negative 3 here, not the scale. So this is 4, negative 3. This is our vertex. v. So that tells me the parabola is something like, right, like this. Because uh, the focus, no, no, it does not. I apologize. If, oh boy, I, my parabola is something like this. It wouldn't go, the parabola does not go through the directrix. So, um, and the focus will be on the other side of the vertex. How far will it be? Well, whatever distance this is right here, we call this distance the absolute value of p, or I'll just call it p here. Um, that distance will equal this distance here. Right, those the focus wherever it is. I'm going to estimate it there for now. Is the same distance from the vertex that the directrix is. Those distances are equal, and each of those are called the absolute value of p or just p. And in this case, 4p equals 12. So if we set that up, say 4p is 12, divide both sides by 4, and p is 3. So the distance between the directrix and the vertex is 3. So the distance between the vertex and go up 3 is our focus. So what's 3 above 4, negative 3? Well, you add 3 to negative 3 to find that number, and you get 0. And that's where our focus is. So the focus is at 4, 0. All right, I hope that helps.